Hi everyone, long time no see and guess what, this is my 200th video so a bit of a celebration here I'm going to be doing a long 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 time requested look and it is Megan Fox and the reason I didn't do it sooner is because I couldn't find a good enough picture where it didn't look the same as all my other ones but when I was in America I was watching something called Campus High School Campus or something like that a lovely makeup look which I thought I'm going to take home and do and it's like a light blue with pink sparkly lips very fresh very sexy and very nice so hope this not let you down for your requested look for the Megan Fox but here we go plenty of bronzer because she's very bronzed and then coming up next if anyone can send us a photo of her with the kind of the dark smoky brown look she's got like a, a kind of tanned dark smoky brown I will really appreciate it so anyway, I'm just priming my eye. I put some Urban Decay Primer Potion on, actually. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a little bit of a crease line. And I'm just going to rub that in. I notice for all primers, they tend to crease on me. I don't know, maybe I'm just a greasy babe. But I'm using Glam Bronze by L'Oreal. This one is Brunette Harmony, and it's a Sun Duo powder. And I'm just going to stick it on a big, big brush. I'm going to gently just waft it. So you want to go past your temples, down in the shape of a three. Get the basics on and go for it like that. And then you can get right under here. And see how it's just really transformed that side. Give it a good mix up and it's good. We're going to go right across the cheekbone here. You just want to gently bring it down. Get the hair out the way. And come down under here as well. She's very, very bronzed. It looks lovely on her, natural. But this may be not so natural, but anyway, let's get this side done. I hope you guys have all been keeping well. I have absolutely missed coming on here. Next up is going to be a look kind of inspired from my mum because she was just saying to us today that she hasn't put makeup on in a while because she can't see. And um don't think she'll be happy when she sees this video if she watches it. But she wears glasses. And so she's finding it hard to like see close up to her eyes and to her eyebrows and stuff. So I was doing her eyebrows today. And I'm thinking of doing a video with some tips on if your eyes are not what they used to be. Or for mature skin tones. I'm going to show some tips and colour looks to kind of enhance maybe. Just to kind of give you a bit of inspiration. Because there's nothing worse than when you get stuck in a rut, so I don't like anyone feeling like that. But, we'll crack on them with this one and then I'll do something for next time. But, to start with, because I've already got my primer on, this palette here, I got it ages ago off eBay and I'm going to be using that one. It's kind of like a light silvery blue. And I'm going to take it with my big brush, big eyeshadow brush. And because it's going all over the eyelid and just past, it doesn't really matter about the size of the brush. So just pat that on there. And as you can see, it's quite a nice blue. I'm going to get right in. Because I want to get it right under the lash line so there's no gaps. This is basically just pat it on. So get all your mixture mixed in with your eyeshadow, like that. Just cover every single part of the eyelid. And then once you've done that, then we're going to start by bringing it kind of down. So from outside in. And this just creates a little bit of blending as you're going. Or if you want to blend it out a bit more, take a little bit more on your brush, tilt your head back. Like that and just pick it up like that and then just give it a bit of a blend and because it's such a light color you don't need to worry about blending 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 because you won't have a huge change of color on your skin on any skin tone because dark colors still need blending so I'm going to get this on this side now I'm just going to keep on going and keep on going. Now I could really to do with editing this, so chopping the bits that are boring out for you, but then it kind of doesn't, it defeats the purpose and it shows that I could be hiding something, I don't know. I've always started where I won't edit, 
I can edit now because I have learned because there's bits and pieces that I've done along the way on other videos not makeup ones mostly but other ones but anyway so I'm just going to try and speed it up basically rather than cut it in between so remember pull it in and along this just helps blend it into the skin make sure you've got all the eye area covered now if something's wrong with this eye today it just seems to be like gonzo it won't lift up and I don't know if it's just me or what but it's like a tired lazy eye today I'm just bringing the mixture up again and doing what I did on the other side just blend that out like that And it would help if both sides matched and remember if you make a mess just start again it's not a problem not a problem at all now I'm gonna take a black creamy liquid liner it's not a liquid sorry it's just a creamy pen it's by steel and it's a dual eyeshadow liner and I'm just gonna gently line the waterline and kind of tease it amongst the eyelashes too so you've got a bit of depth and a bit of darkness on the bottom here and then what I'm going to do is just gently tighten the skin and go and tease it into the lash line. And if you have difficulty studying your hand, stick your little finger on your cheek. And just gently pull. Now for this it doesn't matter so much because what I'm going to do is take the other side and I'm going to blend that in over. So remember, if you haven't done a straight line, it really doesn't matter. Because you're going to be blend anyway. As long as you've got like a bit of darkness. Another great colour to use for that could be like a dark blue on the top. And then that would go really well. Now I've got a little bit of black just under here. There you go. I just took a wet wipe. And off I went. So now we'll do that side quickly. So we run out of time and I've taught the arse off his again. So, just stick a little bit of liner. Mostly teasing it through the lash line rather than on the water line. Just to kind of darken it out. We'll come in and afterwards on the inner corner. So I'm going to get this one done. Another little tip, sometimes when you're putting liner on over eyeshadow, I don't know if you can see but the end gets covered in eyeshadow. Rather than going back and forwards trying to get rid of the eyeshadow and get the black to come through, or whatever colour pen you're using, just do that on the back of your hand and it'll clear the end for you and then when you go back on, it darkens right back out for you. So we've got that on there now. Let's get blending. So just blend it inward. I'm just going to go back over this side, bring that up a little bit. And then blend it back out. Now the lightning here is pretty bad. It's actually proper daylight.
but I don't know what's going on with it. There's too much, too much in front of me. We're at window, I think, and it's just not letting the light through. Now, where's that big bronzing brush? I know I do this every time. It's gone and fell down the back. Right, take your bronzing brush or a blush brush, smaller one, if you want. I'm using this, and it's by, by MAC, and it's called Rock. And it's beautiful pink. It's a like popsicle pink kind of colour. And it's the kind of stuff I think Megan would wear. And it looked like she was wearing a pink in the actual program I was watching. It's like a tight, it's like American mini series, maybe. Campus Rock? Oh, I don't know. I'll find out the word, the name for you and put it at the end for you. But she's quite young on it, I think. And she's with Lindsay Lohan. And I thought, wow, it's a nice makeup look. And she was wearing it in school. So there you go. And I'm just gently going back and forth with that pink. And because it's infused with gold, it all makes it together lovely. That's that. Now for the lips. Dead simple. I'm using Tarte. Or Tarte. I don't know. Tarte? Tarte. And this one, although there's no name. They come in a little box like a gift set. But it's like a pink with gold sparkle. And I'm basically just sticking this all over. And then, then, should be a lighter one. Well, I'll use the top of this one. Take a lighter lip gloss. This kind of colour, the first one there. So it's like a whitey kind of pearlescent sparkle. Now for the lashes, and the, what I'm going to do here is not usual. Usually I go out, but I'm going to go kind of up and in, so they kind of stick up right instead of going out. So I'm going to tip my head back, and I'm just going to keep on going up. So they're more like, how do I say it? They're practically crisscrossing in the stick up ones. So instead of going right out, you're kind of pushing them upward. Because that's how her lashes seem to me on the, on the program I washed, kind of up rather than out. Same on this side. And you might need to just look forward for this and kind of just brush them inward. Like that look. Just keep on brushing them inward. And they'll stand up straighter. They won't be so curled. You could use curlers actually to get these to stand up. I'm just doing this for quickness and so sticking them right up. Kind of get right to your end and your roots, sorry. And then right with the tips. This is Maybelline Colossal. Been using it quite a bit lately because I don't know if you can see, but it just makes the lashes go whoom. Very, very, very nice. And there you go, it's my Megan Fox makeup inspired tutorial. Very bronzed, a little bit of light blue, a bit, bit of black liner, mascara, and kind of pink lips, a bit of pink on the cheeks here with a bit of gold to go with the bronzer. I really, really oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to do the eyebrows. There you go, nearly forgot. I'm going to take Paula Dorf. Look, I've gone through the tub, look, it's right on the metal. I'm just going to gently go over the eyebrows. You've got to finish the look off. I don't usually because I can't ever find this. Have you noticed all your nice products, you always put them away and then you can never find them. But all the boring products that you own that you're not really keen on, they're always at the front. I don't know if it's just me, but... And there you have it. Finally done. Hope you enjoyed. And I'm so glad to be back. Zoom, zoom.